Kenny, how disappointing is that for you tonight? Yeah, it is. And, um, you know, got the, the first goal, got the breakthrough, which is so often... You know, a big part of it. That's three games on the trot now. We've scored the first goal, which is which is very good. And and then after that, I'm really looking for us to sort of be able to take the game on and um, maybe go and win it well. Uh, it didn't happen that way. They've got a very good equaliser header from Piggott, but um, obviously it's a sucker punch right at the end, though. 88 minutes and then a, a, an OG, which uh, hasn't given us any time to react. Phil for Anton, uh, these things happen. He's you know he's a young player. He has to get over that. And, and move on because uh, you know really you know an OG on 88 minutes gave us no time really to to respond when you know it looked like it was going to penalties as many of these early rounds do. Was it a bit Luton-esque for you at times the the, the pressure you were coming under? Yeah maybe and I didn't think that uh, in terms of let's say the first 20 minutes we, we didn't get it right but 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 in the first half we came through that and and you know finished the half quite strong um, but uh, throughout the game um, Wimbledon kept the pressure on and, and were perhaps playing through us in the middle a little bit too easy yes. When you did put them under some pressure and showed some urgency it was a different game and they were on the rack? Yeah I wouldn't say we didn't create anything tonight probably um, you know we, we created some very good and some very clear cut chances and um, probably Hawkins was maybe the best chance of the game that's gone you know great ball from Jamal Lowe across the uh, uh, edge of the box delighted with with Burge to get a header from a set piece a very good ball from Gareth and we, and we had chances we had other chances but to be fair so did they and um, you know for us anyway um, you know we have to keep working away it's a sucker punch really on 88 minutes where you know we're looking to uh, be able to see the game out to be honest with you and, and being one nil ahead overall is, is disappointing to lose it 2-1 doesn't affect the, the good league start you've had so you have to move back on on Saturday yeah we've got Oxford Saturday then Bristol Rovers and Doncaster so we have to get over this one we are disappointed to be out of the cup definitely and as I said you know it's such a late goal um, that's uh, that's a decider and an OG as well is is a, is a tough one for us. But you know we have to keep working hard and um, uh, we have a home game on Saturday and we want to bounce back. And just a word about the goal because we see it on the training pitch all the time. A good old fashioned set piece. Yeah, it was good ball from Gareth. He's, he's capable of that. You know I do think that and uh, Burge has got away from his marker and uh, headed one in very well. And uh, I, I, overall disappointing loss really to be honest with you. And it did look like it was uh, uh, going away as a one all draw and and going on to penalty kicks but um, you know the OG the late OG from Anton has just uh, given us no time resp to respond and uh, has got them the win